Hi, today we're going to look at WordPress and the Aveda Builder and how to best deal with different rows in your design, some being full width and some being contained. It's a little bit tricky to figure out where you need to change what settings. So this is uh, what I'm going to walk you through. So the first thing is there is this setting, interior content width, 100% width and site width. And sometimes you're not going to see that when you click on your containers pin tool. And the reason is, is that your template is not set up as 100% width. So the first thing you're gonna do if you're making a page where you want to be able to take advantage of 100% width of your browser window is change your template to 100% width from site width. That will allow you to see the option when you click the pin tool on your blue bar for interior content width. All right, so now that we've talked about that, let's look at a page. So this is what I mean. So full width, this is a container that has an image as a background with a text HTML box in it. This is also a container, another row, and this text has a background on its container and it's contained. This third row, you can see there's a background color of the full width and then there's also a background color of the text, which is full width and has margin by default on the left and right. So the same margin is shown here on the left and the right, but um, there is no color for the background of this text. So let's take a look. First, you can open and shut your different rows or containers. To add a new container, you click where it says plus container down here at the bottom. It kind of hides, especially if these are open and you can't tell where without putting your mouse over this can you add a new column, right? It doesn't show up. Only when you close these, then new container is shown. All right, so that's important. Now, if you do hover over, a new container or column option will be there. But if you're hovering over the blue part, that is also missing. So that might be what you're getting stuck on is that you can't see how to add another container, which is another row. All right, so this first container, we come into the edit, I come to background, click to image. You can see here's the background image. So if we're looking, here's the background image for that full width row. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Within it, we have another one by one, and this is a text box. This is spanning the full width, right? So here's our text box spanning the full width, and it has a default margin on the left and right. So if on this box, all right, so we've got that. So if on this box, we want a color behind it, we would come to this div, this container, click the pen tool. From here, we can select background, say a pink, and now preview. And you can see the text, similar to this one, now has the pink. All right, so let's look at this contained version because this is pretty common. Let's say you want a picture spanning the full width, you want content on top of it, and then the next row, you just want it to be content that is still fixed within the size of your website and um, lines up with your menu and has no color behind it. So that's this fixed container. So if we look at it, I have a text box just like we did before, but this time when I come in, um, I have no background selected and I have site width selected and then my text I have my background so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my background save preview this purple should go away so now you see I have text aligned in the center all right so I hope that helps Key takeaways is make sure your page attribute template is 100% width 
and that you create multiple containers that have these blue areas and that within your containers if you want it to be full width you're going to have 100% width and then if your next row if you want it to be contained you're going to choose site width and then you can see for mine my next one I did 100% width and that gives you this full width full width site width all right hope that helps